What's up, Fortnite fam? It's your favorite Fortnite commentator, Monster Deface. And today, we are back with another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In today's video, we're taking a look at Reverse UK, Day, and Miro from Team TNA. With that being said, this is some FNCS follow-up. It's some trios content. I'm excited for duos. We're going to be doing duo scrims and stuff like that next. So do me the favor. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And of course, like this video for more Fortnite competitive content. We are watching it from Reverse UK's perspective because we want to pretty much get what we can as far as comms, get what we can as far as just insight behind the mind of these players because honestly, they are one of the few teams that actually play low ground on a completely different level than everyone else. I think the only team that actually rivals them is the Exet Trio. So it, it, this is not only a VOD review, but it's more like a comparison. It's more like an understanding. How do teams actually figure out these low ground strategies and how do they you know, really maneuver uh, game after game? And like I said, from today, it's going to be the perspective of the live streams. If you guys have watched my VODs before, you already know things are going to get cooking towards the mid and end game, but I want to do this entire video. So we're vibing start to finish right here. I'm going to watch the whole journey through Reverse UK's perspective. Show these guys some love, man. And word, thanks for being here, guys. The mug of the day today, My Hero, the My Hero mug, coffee on deck. I'm feeling good. I've been working out. I've been on my, my nutrition. So your boy, your boy's down like another five pounds. I've been working out every day, eight days in. I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really good. Uh, and I'm looking forward to, to this whole weekend unfolding, man. There's By the fun. time you guys see this, you would never know that I actually cut a piece out the video and then fixed it. That's why we love editing programs. Yay. For everyone here in the live stream, well, y'all get to see a little bits of, uh, you know, the bumps in the road as monsters driving down the street. You dig? Hey man, I feel like um, I got four. I, got four I feel like the videos have been going pretty decent lately, man. Thank you guys all for, of course, riding with your boy, checking out the content. Y'all know the vibes, as we like to say, they are kind of contagious. Um, and big thanks to everyone that's been showing support on social media for the events we have coming up, man. We have the practice server coverage of the NA West region, so we are going to be producing a whole entire show. Myself, my team, the practice server, me. and like should be dope, like man. It should be dope. So we're normally uh epic covers east and eu we are deciding that we want to do a community version man let's show up these na west boys it's gonna be great for the practice server channel it's gonna be great for the community so pull up man pull up because y'all already know what time it is epic whale reet wavy jacob awesome. right you, you have a uh, 40r yard storm you have um yeah. yo there's some big names out there man there's some big names they're, they're gonna be colliding on uh on the man. west coast on the west coast man so I'm, I'm looking forward to the west man i'm looking forward to the west i'm looking forward to just everything that's unfolding here this drop spot looking pretty good though remember reverse uk day and miro have this drop spot because exit did not qualify so it actually mixed up their drop i really love that they were flexible with taking this so my whole idea is how is it that you can be so flexible but still land somewhere and find major success you know what i mean um it just kind of goes into the in the mindset of the players like did they do the homework did they just wing it? Like, what what kind of preparation went into this? Did they do some studying with a coach? Like, I'm really, really curious as to how they prepared this. Obviously, I'm, I'm homies with Reverse 2K. I'm homies with Miro. I can hit them up. I'm probably going to do that and just, just figure it out, man. I just want to pry into their their ideas, their insight, a little bit of insight onto onto how they played it all out. Uh, extra big I can't hold. Got a llama. Nice. I was gonna say I heard some shots over there. I was wondering for a second if that was I can't. Unless someone can carry an enemy, but I think he was firing at. Water. I can carry anything. I think he was firing at a llama. To be I honest, I was gonna win. Or anything. There's also a Stark gun right here for somebody. Yeah, and actually, we can't even fish anything else, so never mind. <sighs> Yo, for the guys asking me about what do I think about Middle Eastern, so. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Middle East had an error occur where flop, or one of the heats the... did not queue up on yeah, console, right? Uh, is is that big. what happened? Oh, don't you need to pop a big mirror? Are you that would happen. Uh, did you want to pop a big? Someone's asking me for my thoughts on the situation. Um, too well, long. Don't read really thoughts. And uh, you guys in the comment section can definitely yes. jump in and you know add your feels on this. After but that, though, we gotta go for surge. You know, like. Things like this are gonna happen. Um, I hope and, and believe that Epic will yeah, definitely address the situation in some way, shape, or form, right? Hopefully, uh, because you know, every everyone's trying to get out there and do their best, right? And if you qualified for heats and then 
you weren't able to qualify for grand finals because your heats didn't actually process correctly. You'd have to think like, come on, they have to make it happen again, right? Like, if if that was the situation here, um, like I said, I'm coming in with limited information, but if if that was the deal. Then yeah, some something would have to be done. Now, if it's individual oh, yeah, based, I'm if an individual, up. Fred is blockhead. Okay, hold up. Let's watch this fight. Yep, three. three. Uh, mm, there we go hesitation. Well, oh, we watched this on stream actually. Yeah. Also, they yeah. did hear the shots. So when we watched this on stream, they were actually being rolled up on, and I don't think There's this fight ever concluded. Now we get to find out why. Box. Got out. Who's who gives the most comms in PvP? Is it Day? Is it Miro? Doesn't look like it's reverse. Either way, everyone's kind of super chill right now. Doing their own thing. Dude, no way. Is this the kind of. Okay, he calls out that he's healing right now. I'm just saying, this is the kind of trio that operates under. You just kind of go with the flow, right? Trust the dives. 35 again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start spraying their back wall. Click skins 150. Click skins 150. They got this guy pressured right here. You can hear Dave throwing some comms in there. They try to psycho me. This is a really, I'd say like rough angle for all of them right now. They're all like in one v ones basically. Ooh, ooh. First UK almost threw that right there. He could have just took the 50 50 and pumped him. He was actually ready before the opponent was. Like, take a wall because I got switch to the crash pad instead. Mira already got a knock in this fight. You can get in then hold them. We can get in and hold them. Yeah. Good call right here by Dave. You guys got the one kill right? Oh, he didn't even get the full finish. Yeah, we can still hold him. We fine. That was a really good call by Day, though. We just sit on top of here. He doesn't want to play with the storm line here, so he's actually calling for the disengaged. Gotcha, sit up top. Hold him out. He just shoots so slow. Also, disengaging give, the gives them the opportunity to the scout the field, right? Make sure no one's actually oh, no setting up the ambush onto them the way they were getting ambushed. That's we're setting up like the ambush on the enemy, so. Good job, there. I like how Reverse UK is still. Very, very much conscious of how he uses metal and whatnot. You saw there he swapped over. Just want to be careful what kind of materials you're wasting this early in the game. Yeah, I see him. I didn't really Ooh, he's got the blue. pixel coming through the zone there. I, I, I did a lot, of, a lot of damage. They're trying to get in right here. If we can fight this, Loki. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's kind of tough to make predictions in a game like Fortnite or just any battle royale in general yeah. because. For the person talking about, looks like they're going back. They're going back. Comparing like prediction pieces to like NFL predictions and whatnot, you're talking two totally different ball games. Like battle royales yeah, okay, have so going. much more there's factors we, involved. We can let them get in um, zone and just. But go. with that being said, there's definitely some clear nah, dominance, exactly right? Damn. You have obviously this team we're watching here. You have teams like Xset. You have Acorn Jack and Slacks. You have Clicks Illis Bizzle. You have Zaysaf Stretch. Like you have so many power we'll trios. Literally. Power trios. You saw, you guys saw what Commandment sent it in. Edgy did like, they came up out of nowhere and they just had a great weekend. There's, there's way too many power trios, but amongst those elite trios, be careful, Miro. There's, there's enough there to, uh, to understand from the outside looking in. Like, yeah, one of these teams are probably gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? Creo, Bucky, Kanata, like, each of them have had their moments at the top. Each of them had their moments at first place, in some way, shape, or form. You have, you have the X champs. The, the calculator, Macwoods, no right the Zexros, right? I, I got a lot of tags you have, you have those guys to look out for, so. I only got like a 30 tag. It's whoever's going to be on their so ball game. It's whoever gets those half in, half outs. Um, It might yeah, come down to two or three games. Should we follow them? It no? might just come down to getting lucky two yeah, or three times. Sucks. And then next thing you know. I mean, it's in zone two. We, we got yeah. pretty good tags. There's a real brawl surge. Because he might need more surge, honestly. You can definitely make educated predictions. If you guys have been watching the FNCS, you'd notice that... 
the, um, the casters are making predictions yeah, week after week. Booger Jamper Avery, yeah, they right? They just uh, yeah, they're in the house. The XF boys they're have they're been a part of my picks. I picked uh, Clicks, Illis, and Bizzle. Yeah, yeah. They finished top five the other day. Like we've we're, been we're making predictions week after week. Uh, that's one of the fun things we've been doing on FNC. He's in front of y'all. Right here, right here. On your left. 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 Okay, days left. No, no, a player right here to the left. Reverse 2K and Miro didn't quite understand. They were more focused on the guy right above them instead of the guy below them. It's going to work out, though, because they're going to secure this little bit of high ground here. Reverse 2K on big tags right now in the box now. Literally hits for one shot. He's probably going to get down, but no. He actually survives that guy. With the shot and went for the crash pad. Either way, I guess it doesn't matter. Even if Reverse would have been knocked, he would have just been picked up here. Vanish right back up. GG's. That was a that was a great like what was that three that another three points for them. Two crafts out right there. Got me carry those. Was another yeah. big set of elims for them. Not bad at all. Not yeah, bad at all. We love to see uh, that. I got a big. It's my only healing though. Versus okay. Kate down to his last big. heal. So they rolled up on a team on the on the edge here. Right on the edge. Rip. You guys got a mats? Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Okay, I'm zero five five. I can just farm wood somewhere. Tasker smacked an unknown. They had a like really a good qualifying week one, man. What was it? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Week two. Week two. Right week two, they finished like top five, right? Again, what are they called? Peppermint, peppermint. Which I, man, whenever I saw a known up there, I just couldn't believe it. No, uh, there's some candy corn right here, Riss, if you want. All I was telling myself is like, really? Reverse 2K? Getting endgame? Or uh, unknown army get, getting yeah, endgame? I mean, yeah, we could. Okay. We have else to do. The, the, those, okay, those unknown those army. I see you, baby. I see you, baby. See, commandment, edgy, and scented trios is an interesting one because from watching scented play, bro, scented is scented is an IGL. Like he's he's nice with it. Like he knows how to lead his team. Um, and he's clean with the builds, man. He's clean with the builds. The decision making was great. And then you have commandment, who commandment knows how to take over and also doesn't make a lot of mistakes with his decision making. So. Oh, I like these rotates. See, I like I like the fact that Reverse Decay Day and Mira, like they they're they're actually using like dead side rotates yeah, and, and playing outer edges and battling isolated teams on on the edge. There's a lot of teams that just don't know how to really rotate. I feel like, like. Good calls here to just start going inwards because the fact that team one has snipers to their. Kind of based up. Don't seem like they're going anywhere right now. Storm Surge is definitely an issue. So when you're so far ahead of Storm Surge and everyone isn't, a dead side rotates a great idea for you. Because you do not want to be on top of the congestion. You do not want to be on top of the enemies that have to psycho. Um, more often than not, the teams that do really well are the ones that avoid the psychos that need tags. The ones that need to go crazy. So sometimes avoiding... Avoiding the players on these nice wide rotates can be the wave. So just gonna fire back here to a little pressure down. Just gonna get tagged once. Yeah, I would definitely. I'm waiting a little bit. Definitely think they'd want to get a little bit deeper here. Switches to metal because obviously he's gonna be able to farm some here. Nice. Looking good. Looking good. Who is Nosh playing with in the grand finals? Because apparently he has Dooms uncontested. Yeah. Well, ne next circle we get a so up. here's the thing will happen at drop spot uncontested. It can it oh, can yeah, be a double edged sword. Either you know how to play uncontested oh, drops in a in a grands and a heats, so you know how to get your tags, or you're gonna die to storm surge. All right, so that's one or two. Um, also, having a drop spot uncontested does not mean you're gonna do well. There's a lot of teams that do not know how to play Fortnite very well in heats slash grand final settings. So. You know that in its own. If you're if you're not optimizing your route to make your rotates on time, if you're not taking, you know the the proper mountains early in these big on. team based game modes, like you're gonna suffer a lot yeah, on your rotates, and that's how people just get wiped. And like we said, positioning is the most important thing here. We literally just spoke about why reverse UK, Miro and Day right now put themselves in a beautiful position up here, like a great position over compared to some of the other teams already because they have distance from other psychos like so yeah there's there there are a lot of factors there's a lot of moving parts man when it comes down to deciding who's going to do great but you know just just because you have a draw spot to yourself does not mean 
um, much, right? It means a lot, but it doesn't mean much. The way Reverse Decay is walking into the wall right now, it's just like, it looks like a replay mode. Like, if we were in the replay mode, you'd be watching somebody, like, <laughs> literally do that. It's kind of funny, actually. Yo, y'all saw a little hair reveal today. Damn. Uh, YouTube getting... You should no, got a little lucky today. Actually, I forgot. I forgot. I don't think so. That's a throw on the... You know it's just, it's just the other cross of the skate park. Hold up, YouTube. Y'all better be liking this video oh, now, dog. Like I gave y'all a little treat this morning. Hold up. Hold up. Welcome back to another most morning, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up? Who's been on the workout grind, man? Who's been on the... Who's been on the healthy eating? Who's been on the slobby eating? What, what y'all having for... Lunch, breakfast, dinner. While you guys are tuning into this bad boy, what's the day's looking like, man? Hope everyone's, hope everybody's doing good, man. Hope y'all been enjoying some Fortnite competitive. Hope you guys are looking forward to duos coming up, man. DreamHack already announced it. Fortnite competitive went crazy with the clickbait on social media. They dropped duos at a million followers. That was dope, man. I really love what uh, Epic's been doing lately, man. I hope they continue to trend like that. You know. Is this your last leg? Yeah, five minutes. Oh. Guys, I got approached by a sponsor. I could harpoon their wall and Not approached. I'd say I'm in conversations with a sponsor. Um, long story short, it's a, it's kind of like a, a fast food joint. Um, I think I'm gonna say yes. So, don't be surprised if our next video is sponsored by some something that you you probably never yeah, never think. Um, yeah. It, it, <laughs> I think I'm say yes. I think we're gonna make the bag, get some good food, and uh, word. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Why not? Well, they're holding kids on this wall right here. Why not? Feel free to take a wild guess in the comment section or the Twitch chat. Who do you think I'm I'm partnering with? It's it's a food joint. It's a food joint. Texas based food joint. I'll give you that's, that's probably the only hint right there. Right here. I, love I like this. I like this. I like this. Nice job from Versus UK checking all the angles and carries the homeboy back. It was knife for. Ooh, that's that's unfortunate. That's a little unfortunate. The rest of the team got wiped up before they can actually get the storm surge. I mean, they're above it, but they'd be so much more comfortably above it if they, were, if they did just get the tag on the body. Now look how close it is. Oh, I love that angle from Reverse right there to try and go for the jump shot. Almost. Nice. Th those matter. Hey, that matters. They're just above, so that matters, man. Right there. I like Miro's call. Right there, bro. <laughs> yeah, nice call, Miro. Nice call. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Right there, bro. I mean, we got a white line. We can go. We can go straight. Right is for fighting right now, like on the right, like south. Okay. You guys notice Day's the one calling the rotates, bro. This is the second, this team is in team in front of us. second time Day calls the rotate here. Yeah, this, this team's looking at us. Is Day the this main IGL for this one? Yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here. Follow hey, yeah, go here. right, go right. Miro's, Miro's leading the, the rotate, with though, for sure. Yeah. I'm leading it right now. Day's the one calling it out, though. That's pretty sick. Uh, I, I didn't realize Day was the one giving a lot of the comps. We need to get it, we need to get it. Yeah. We, we can, uh... Here, follow me. Actually, it's kind of like a hybrid, right? No, no, no. We should not go that way. I don't think. We should you don't think so? Me. No, no. Follow me. Follow me. Ooh, Reverse 2K had an idea, and then Miro is basically like, nah, nah, nah. Trust, bro. And Reverse 2K right trusts him, and, and he listens to Miro's calm here. This is very interesting. You have a team that so is working together yeah, to try and figure out the best yeah, moves here. I wonder how this is going to play out. I mean, obviously, it played out right really here. well. Triple, triple spray this, triple spray this. He had a great weekend. That's cool. But we did see an instance where they gave a call. They followed it. First gave a call. They followed it. And then Miro threw a, an audible. And they followed the audible. Like, pretty sick. And I mean, they get to the zone for... Yeah, for free in a way, right? They get yeah. tagged maybe once, but they're here. They're here. This is one thing I'll say that they 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 need to be a little bit more aware of is checking all these walls, making sure they're not losing. You know what I'm saying? Any of those walls, like the fact that that cone was fully healthy and it was an enemy cone, that's a red flag, bro. You got to be careful for that. 
I have three seconds. Uh, gotta be careful for that, bro, man. My kill just got finessed so hard, bro. I mean, I have crash pads. This harpoon, did they actually get to grab anything out of that? I feel like he's been trying to grab shit from there. Yeah, this whole time he didn't get anything. Okay. Trying to make the rotate. Ooh, first gets shot in the back there. I'm not sure how I feel about this open side rotate they're doing right now. Miro's leading the push here. Miro calls for the, the elevation here. Verse goes first. I like how he waited there. Doesn't try to reef his teammate. Ooh. Ooh. I'm weak, I'm weak. Way to clutch it right there, bro. He needs to siphon here. And he's right on the I line. Oh, he walks right into one. that. Oh, I'm like. He has to crash pad through. Oh no, my gosh. Here, no. no way. Go, 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 go. Made it in by the buzzer, homie. Yeah, they I can't Dropping. Enemy behind him. 50 I'm HP. Good. Another siphon comes through. I'm up. Miro's up top. Nice. It's Miro's yeah, force too. Yeah, Sick. There's oh, Miro's doing the, the ramp on the outside. Oh, I like this. Got hey, we got minis. Okay, minis. minis. Yo, on me. Come here, Miro. Miro, I'm cycling this kid. 85 track. Got him. I like it. I like it. He calls for Miro. Like, yo, Miro, I need your psycho help, too. Dang, they went in. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Just use your old builds. Go again. Go again. Take the minis. I'm cap, cap. I'm cap, cap. All right, King, King, King. I got to heal. I got to heal. Yeah, go heal. You have minis? You have minis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I like that too right there. Watch your top. When Miro throws the heels, he throws them ahead, not on, not like directly on top. Just to basically say like, yeah, let's get a little bit safer before you start healing. Yeah. It's like he's communicating that without like saying it, right? Like, that's like that's like in a, in a world where you read someone's body language, right? Like that's like body language play right there. Yeah, there you go. Like, teammates basically saying, yeah, like, bro, let's keep it going. 71, right here, crack. Or skin's low. Yeah, yeah, go up one day, go up one day. Right. Good call from here. Do we up. got whites or no? All right. I feel like for a second there, reverse decay was a little frazzled because, like, obviously he was on clutch mode. Keep no going. HP, but he survives. Go. Now not, I feel not, like not he's yet, getting yet, right yet, back yet, into yet, his yet, groove, yet. right? He's getting back into right. right leading this tarp right now, letting the two fraggers do their thing. Wait, 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 wait. So, way to come back. Got a kid right here, right here. Nice, nice, nice. Going. I'm going. Okay. Reverse should be calling out that he has safe, like he's safe right here. Okay. Go, 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 back today, straight back today. Back dead, dead, dead. Ooh, good go calls there. He saves day. Oh no. That's unfortunate, bro. And Day also had the harpoon, didn't he? You can keep on looking down there. Mm. I think in this instance, bro, if you're rocking harpoon, you should never be the one to jump down. Thoughts? Maybe his harpoon was out, but if you're if you're rocking harpoon, should not be the one to jump down. Thoughts? Uh, there's already be more passive. They could have AR fired out all those builds and just scooped it up. Um, rather than day jump down. Oh, they probably take height. Uh, I, 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 yeah. Oh, they broke out height actually. Oh, Miro calls for the go down. You have three builds reverse. You have three builds. Reverse. Yeah. Low ground fighting. Low ground fighting. I should probably get involved. With that. I should probably get involved. Armor versus wall. Ooh, this is not good. No, yeah, yeah. no more builds. I'm with you. I'm with you. With you. With you. Okay. Oh, the tracking. Oh, oh, the 180 on the jumper. You can build. You can build. 15 oh Elims gosh. already. My gosh. You're fine. Four players left. There's oh, the so shield crack. Bro, he flicked. Oh, Jesus. That was such a good game. <laughs> That's nice. That was actually a good game. That's fine. It's a 1v3. Yeah. I don't think you should have dropped. Couple of learning moments from right there. That low ground. Yo, I really like how they played the... I like how Miro was doing the ramps with the open back. So they had like full mobility, but you can also hold edit on the ramps to see through the walls. I, I think they played that really, really well. Dang, bro. Dang. That was dope. 15 eliminations. Good mid game or good early game fights. Down there. I think we A decent mid game, uh, mid game action. And their comms are like, the comms are kind of split. A little, little chaotic, but it's not too crazy. It's not too crazy. I'd say the one time where things got a little, like, 
Bells Amplified is like Miro started like yo like Miro started spitting all some quick cons, bro. My dude was in the he was in the thick of it, you know what I'm saying? Um yeah, yeah, in, in lower here, in the water, in the water. But like, I think they work really well together, man. Damn, Miro definitely know how to stay at the hip of one another. I think they do a good job switching back and forth between, like, trying to stay in front of the storm line and and keeping each other like in line, right? But reverse 2K in this end game, he, he definitely has the a good idea of what to do, right? Like, you notice like he's 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 leading me, me, the rotates two or, uh, one on these shockwaves. final moments right like he's in the front now where know, before that it was like uh, miro was in the front or my, dropping a kid. Okay. yeah actually it was miro miro was in the front for the early the mid game and all that like he's he's down to like lead that that push okay okay another sick end game right here 11 elims this is like back to back Back to back huge games. This time around, Reverse K has a power pump. I'm down to go up. I'm down to go up. These guys won without a victory, by the way. Like, this is straight consistency. Big frags. End game. King of low grounds. Over and over. You can see why. They're just like. They're just bodying players. Like. Refresher after refresher. Oh, good split. Right here. Ooh, up he goes! No! One small angle away. Alright, died, I died. Okay, okay, okay. Man down, man down, man down. Ooh, good crack. Okay, get the thirst, get the thirst. Definitely nice. Someone was below him. Avery falls. This guy's gonna fall. Oh, it's third place. Those are back to backs, by the way. Yo, Fortnite fam. G freaking G's, man. This is a. Uh, this is a dangerous team. This is a team to look out for, man. I need to see, like I said, coming into he's coming into grand finals. If we see reverse UK, Miro and Day, and then X at Knight, Shark, and AV in the same endgame, in the same rounds, whether it be grands or heats, it is going to be interesting. Because they have similar play styles and they are both dominant on the low ground. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I don't think there's gonna be able to have I, I don't think we can have two aggressive low ground teams in the same endgame. I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. So between the two, that's probably going to be the biggest class right there. Who's going to actually give up the low, play and fight for mids or height of these trios? Because otherwise, they're going to they're gonna end up being the demise of one another. GG's, guys. And they're in the same heat. So this is going to, man, this is going to be a great, great, great heat coming up. Don't forget to, of course, subscribe to this channel if you guys are new around here. I'm getting out of here, man. I'll catch you guys on a battle bus.